it's four days, we're in the vehicle, we're going through everything in as much detail as we possibly can. That it's going to do more of the diagnostic side than just follow the IMI level four training. If you want to learn how to diagnose these vehicles, this is exactly the course for you. Training provider Our Virtual Academy is currently touring the UK with its EV Masters Roadshow, a new four-day training course which takes IMI Level 4 as its starting point and enhances it with additional skills and knowledge to undertake the diagnosis and repairs of electrified vehicles. Well, the concept is practical, practical, practical. You know, we wanted to make sure that we have facilities to be able to deliver the theory through online solutions but when it comes to practical skills diagnostic skills we felt the way to go was to deliver it in a practical manner so for that reason we spend about 90 percent of the training course in the workshop 10 percent in the classroom and we're finding that that um, dynamic is working really well to be able to transfer the key pieces of knowledge that we need to transfer to these learners to ensure they're able to do the jobs properly and be competent in diagnosing vehicles. In the last few years we've seen the adoption of more and more electric vehicles that's quite clear from the figures so I think it's important right now to get a good grounding in how to test, diagnose and repair electrified vehicles. Many of the systems, many of the components they all operate in a similar or the same way. So there's, there's ways of testing things that are quite generic. And so with a good understanding and a thorough uh, test process and knowledge of the correct test methods, um, after a good few days of practicing those and understanding why you're actually doing the tests in the first place, you're in a really good place to take on electrified vehicle repair work. Electric vehicles, hybrids, they are the future, whether we like them or not, they are going to be there for a long time to come and we've got to embrace the technology. I wanted more confidence to work on the vehicles and to diagnose them rather than just understand the theory of the product and, and it's, the course has definitely done that without a doubt. We're at a point where people need to understand how to fix them. There's been a big push in making sure that people are safe working on them but there's a big leap between how much knowledge is required to be safe to how much knowledge is required to actually diagnose and fix these vehicles. I don't really do classroom stuff very much, so I was very much looking forward to it after speaking to the guys. The local garages around me are starting to see, you know, fit service work, so I feel specialising in full finding. It's a good time to start advertising for the full finding, so as they break, we're head of the curve ready for them kind of thing. Already done a level three hybrid and electric, so it's just a matter of coming on progress to level four, getting the IMI qualification and going through the, the, the process properly. We kick off with a scenario and it's a scenario that is never covered in level three and it's, um, it's what to do when the vehicle doesn't shut down properly and there is a problem. And so it throws the delegates one into a, a a state where they go oh right okay actually I wasn't expecting this and within sort of five minutes of the course starting we're into the workshop and and actually uh, testing things on cars because they've gone to power down the vehicle they're going to do the things they know how to do but then hit an unexpected glitch and they need to work their way through that problem and know how to react to it and and they may well be in that scenario live working which is not a scenario they've been familiar with before so we throw them into that scenario we show them, teach them how to deal with that scenario, understand the risks, hazards, dangers associated to that scenario, and then we've got a good grounding for the rest of the days. There's a fundamental structure um, which underpins this, uh, which comes from IMI's level four standards. And we have um, developed it around those standards with a real strong focus on the diagnostic areas um, associated to that. So you've got uh, quite a lot of knowledge which is associated to diagnosing systems and there is a big chunk which is associated to managing high voltage batteries as well because a high voltage battery is a hugely expensive component uh, but the reality is in many or most instances they're made up of multiple modular components so that means that if it's possible to diagnose something at a small modular cell level then it's possible to convert a 
£14,000 battery repair job into perhaps a couple of thousand pounds worth of work, which is obviously good for the customer, but obviously very good for the environment too. I certainly recommend anybody that's done level three and got a little bit of experience in isolating vehicles, making them safe, removing components, to take the next step and get involved in the actual diagnostic work. Because we've got a marvellous network within Hevra for technical information. Along with that, there should be no reason why you can't tackle any problem on these vehicles. In addition to the IMI Level 4 qualification, successful candidates get an EV Master's badge, sticker and certificate, and three months free access to the advanced hybrid and electric content on our virtual academy. The four-day course is available to book now at locations across the country. For further information, go to ourvirtualacademy.com or call 020 3286 2228.